Welcome to Project Management 1. The course code for this module is PM10D2. Um, my name is S. Dube and I'm going to be your presenter for this module. Uh, let's look at the course content, what it is that we are going to be covering in this module. Um, we'll be looking at the introduction to project management, the history of project management, project development stages, project management tools and techniques, managing projects by Gantt chart, work breakdown structures, critical path method, uh, project team, risks management, monitoring and evaluation. Uh, just to give you a brief overview of this um, module, um, a project is a series of activities designed to achieve a specific outcome within a set budget and time scale. A project is a series of activities designed to achieve a specific out outcome within a set time frame and budget. So, what it means is that in order for something to be called really a budget, I mean, sorry, a project, time is very important, the activity is very important, and the budget is very important. Because when you talk about budget, you talk about finances. If your project is not completed on time, you are likely to run into very serious problems. A project has a clear start and end points and well-defined objectives. So the, when we talk about objectives, we're talking about accomplishments, what it is that you really want to accomplish at the end of the day. Uh, project management enables us to save time and money where we can accomplish our activities, reducing risks and failures. Project management is a results-based management system which could be applied to business, engineering, construction, space exploration, church works, and for your own life. So someone put it this way that project management is the future. So by learning what project management is, you can actually apply some of these issues into your own life. You can even apply um, project management concepts in doing your assignments, preparing for examination, or preparing for the entire year. Um, still on the introduction, a project is a temporal endeavor undertaken to accomplish a unique product or service. So when you are undergoing a project or undertaking a project, you are doing something very unique, meaning something which has never been done before. And it attributes of Attributes of project include unique purpose. It is temporal, meaning that you don't do it for over and over and over again, because once you do that, it becomes a program. It requires resources, often from various areas. Should you have a primary sponsor or a customer, um, involvement is very, very important. Because if you are running a project, you must know that whose project it is. There is somebody who is funding the project. The history of project management. Um, the forefather of um, project management is known as Henry Gant, um, because he's the one who initiated this idea. That's why we talk about Gant charts as we go along. The 1950s marked the beginning of modern project management era. In 1969, the project management institution PMI was formed to serve the interests of project management in industry. In 1981, project management body of knowledge containing the standards and guidelines of practice was established. Um, some people argue that building the Egyptian pyramid was a project, as was building the Great Wall of China. Some people consider building Project Eiffel Towers, Empire State Buildings, ETC, to be the first project to use modern project management. This three-year, two billion, in 1946 dollar project, he had a separate project manager and a technical manager. So if we look at project management, there are stages. Um, and stage one is basically the initiation, initiation stage. That is initiating your starting, right? Then from there, we've got the project planning and design stage, project pro pro production and execution stage, project completion stage, project monitoring and controlling systems. 
So the project life, start, life cycle, because remember what we said is that a project usually has got a, a, it's a temporal endeavor. It's not to be done for the rest of your life. So first of all is the feasibility. Is it doable? Is it possible? So these are things that happen in the boardrooms right there. Then from there, the planning and scheduling phase. Then the implementing phase, monitoring and evaluating phase, um, closing down and hand over. So once a project is completed, remember you are doing this project for a customer. You need to hand over the project to the client. Project management tools and techniques. Project management tools and techniques assist project managers and their teams in various aspects of project management. Some specific out uh, ones include project charter, scope statement, the work breakdown structure, um, gun charts, network diagrams, critical path analysis, critical chain scheduling. We'll talk about the gun charts, um, the network diagrams, and the critical paths um, analysis. Cost estimates and end value management. All these are concepts that work in um, or that are used in project management. If you look at the gun charts, um, the work breakdown st uh, structure is on the left, meaning the work breakdown basically shows about the different activities that each person must take undertake. And it's very clear to say when do you start, when do you finish. So this is why we talk about in, in work break breakdown structure, we talk about the early start, the early finish, late start, late finish. Okay. Then from there, you can transfer your work breakdown structure into a Gantt chart. Work breakdown structure um, focus on uh, project deliverables. Treat your work breakdown structure as a checklist for all the things that you need to complete. Assist, um, it assists you to focus on original intent, which is to help you organize and define overall project scope. The work breakdown structure should accurately estimate your project costs and enabling you to create um, a project schedule. Um, that's an example there um, of the work breakdown structure. Um, work brain structure in the construction is technique that demonstrates the 100% rule quantitatively. At the beginning of design, the project manager is assigned 100 points to the total scope of the project, which is designing and building a custom bicycle. And then from there, you can see what each activity and uh, what is to be done. So in other words, in project management, all the information that you need or what needs to be done must be correctly and consciously put together. Uh, there is nothing like, okay, an afterthought. Critical path methods. Uh, in 1957, DuPont developed a project management method, CPM models, um, the activities and events um, project as a network. Activities are depicted as nodes on the network and events that signify the beginning or ending of activities depicted in the arcs or lines between the nodes. Steps in critical path method, project planning. Specify the individual activities, Determine the sequence of those activities, draw a network diagram, estimate the completion time for each activity, identify the critical path, meaning the longest path through the network. So this critical path is very important because what it simply means is that should anything happen across along the critical path, then the whole project is delayed. Um, update the CPM diagrams on the uh, project and the project team. Projects are planned, implemented, and monitored and completed. Project team, qualified and experienced members of 10 professionals headed by project manager or project team leader. The project team members are committed to complete the project according to its specification, the pre-plan time, and budget. The project team is, temporal, is, a, is, a, is a temporal entity which dis displaces after the completion, completion of this uh, the project. So usually you find that when you want to run, let's say you are employed in an organization and you want to run a project, it means you don't necessarily need to recruit people from outside. Um, all you need to do is to look at the strength of your team, what it is that you want to do, 
and then you pull a team together of individuals who are working in various departments. Then from there, you have a project team. And that team must be headed by a project manager, a project team leader. And then after the completion of that activity, that team must be dissolved. Um, a team to achieve the objective of the project and to bear the collective responsibility. Moreover, they should hope for the best, um, to, uh, but plan for the worst. So it's not given that everything is going to work accordingly in a project. There could be delays due to a number of factors. Perhaps the, say for example, if you're constructing a building, um, a strike in South Africa can delay um, your procurement process, meaning that you may find yourself um, taking time to complete your project because time in project management is very critical. Um, just like anything else, project manage projects always undergo risks, and those risks need to be managed very carefully. So risk management is an important area in project management. Project risk is defined as an uncertain event or condition that, if it occurs, it has a pos positive or negative effect on the project objectives. Risk is an unexpected event that might affect the people, process, technology, and resources involved in a project. Unlike issues which are certain to happen, risk are events that could, that could occur and you may not even be able to tell when. Because of uncertainty, project risk requires serious preparation to, in order to manage them effectively. Um, risk management affects all aspects of your projects. Risk can be positive, that is opportunities, as well as negative, generally referred to as a risk. Risk management needs to be conducted from the start of the project, constantly discussed and monitored and involve all the members of the project team. Monitoring and evaluation. Monitoring is performed while a project is being implemented with the aim of improving the project design and functioning while in action. Evaluation studies the outcome of a project. Changes in income, housing quality, benefits, distribution, cost effectiveness, ETC, with the aim of informing the design of future projects. So for further reading, kindly consult your manual, that's number one, and for your assignments, kindly consult your tutorials. All the information is well detailed and should you have any problem or challenge, kindly contact me. All my contact details are readily available in your tutorials. I thank you.